I'm here at El Santuario de Chimayo, where dozens of people have arrived. Many people starting this pilgrimage early to avoid the large crowds. As we were coming up, we saw several people with crosses like this on their backs. It's a time that brings calmness and serenity for many. It's beautiful too, you know, just coming out here and just, you just, you know, you hear the river, the little stream there and just the wind blowing, it's just, <clears throat> brings you peace. Ramon and Gina started their pilgrimage to El Santuario de Chimayo a day early. The couple lives in Denver. It's spiritual, it's just a uh, time away from our hectic lives yeah. and slowing down and, um, having that meditation and prayer time. While some have done the pilgrimage year after year. My feet are pretty numb, the back of my legs are killing me, and I'm just dying to get back yeah. to the church. For others, it's their first time. I feel very accomplished. Um, I usually don't walk as much, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to go out for that. A pilgrimage that tests one's strength, one's endurance, all in the name of faith. When Jesus died on the cross for us, I feel that I want to feel a little bit of that pain that he had gone through. There's no way I could ever feel whatever he went through, but it's a good reminder for me, all the aches and pains. Now, while it's not too busy right now, thousands of people are expected to be here tomorrow for the annual pilgrimage. Reporting in Chimayo, Maurice Armas, KOAT Action 7 News.